Hi and welcome to the Daily Scoop, 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 Scoops for the 5th of August. Now, the moon enters via combustion at 5.16am and stays there until the 7th of August. So, via combustion in astrology means the fiery way. It runs from 15 degrees Libra to 15 degrees Scorpio. In nascent times and still today, it's seen by mostly those who do predictive hooray astrology as an important thing. So for all those of you who follow the moon movements to a T, some astrologers believe it's best to delay important things when the moon is in the fiery way via combustion. However, you can use this time and energy to dig deep and to tackle, get to the bottom of any dark emotions or any problems you've been trying to put off. So this acts nicely with the Venus Queen Court Saturn energy that's still around, you know, helping for truth to be revealed and handled. Some of you may be told the truth and if you find it hard to take the truth and to take the facts, you may take them easier. Things may get emotional because, you know, we are talking about the latter part of Libra energy and Scorpio energy here. So, yeah, in my opinion, when the moon or any other planet is via combustion, it's an excellent time to get intense and aware of any self-destructive behaviours, thoughts and relationships that hold you back from feeling the fullness of life. And it's also a perfect time to explore any matter that requires you to dive deep, like so any research into spirituality, the cold, the deeper meanings of life. If you have to go through technical, cold or deep legal research, paperwork, you know, you can use the energy um, for that. Some people will try and numb themselves from any emotions that come up now, but in the long run, this doesn't help. And yeah, it won't all be a bed of roses or pretty, but out of the darkness can come everlasting light if you keep working towards making your life better and not actually dealing with any issues that come up right now. The moon also enters the first quarter moon phase as well today while it's in via combustion. So this energy of the first quarter moon amplifies the inner conflict and mood swings that can be experienced by you and others so just be aware of that as well. Mercury also makes a sesti quandra a c square to Chiron that entered on the 4th of August at 12.35 p.m. Strongest today the 5th of August at 2.49 a.m. and leaving around 10 past 5 on the 5th of August so this adds to the vibration that words you say or are said to you may trigger wounds Someone may comfort you or you may support someone else for any emotional problems today. Again, this can make you run away from your emotions. It's a sort of energy. You'll feel it more if you've got this aspect in your natal chart or if you've got strong Chiron and Mercury placements in your natal chart as well. Third and sixth house energy. And um, to me, Chiron always has like a Scorpio effect. So if you have strong 8th and 1st house and maybe 12th house and 4th house, dealing with the emotions and stuff like that. So this sort of energy gives you the power to face pain, your own pain or the suffering of others hands-on rather than running away or numbing yourself to it, as I said earlier. So yeah. Trying to understand your pain and understand others' pain and supporting others to come through adversary or taking support from others to help you through any hard times. Also with this energy, the negativity of it is that you may reject others or others may reject you for the words you say or the things you do right now. But this is a lesson within itself trying to show you how much you can control and how much power you give to people outside of yourself to allow them to affect your own moods. Also, I would like to add with the Venus Quinquot Saturn energy that lasts until the 6th of August is that if you need to take time out and you need alone time, just try and explain this to people to stop arguments beforehand because this 
the things you can make it be like I don't want to discuss anything and the other person can be like I really want to discuss this and this can just blow things out of proportion it's just instead of trying to avoid trying to just handle issues head on and even if that's saying listen I don't want to deal with this right now Mercury also makes a bi-quintile to Jupiter on the 5th of August and this lasts until the 6th of August at around 12 p.m. So energy again, great energy for four types of writers, creative, scientific or technical sort of writers as well, being able to make the complex simple and some of you may come under a sudden sort of understanding of information. If you have strong Mercury, Jupiter, Pluto, Scorpio, Pisces, Neptune or 3rd, 8th, 9th or 12th house placements in your natal chart, you may experience a sudden conscious awakening. They're not a one single event, it's usually a continuous event, becoming aware of new information that can broaden your outlook and how you view your life and your place in it. You may have dreams or waking thoughts at this time that lead you to open up more to the concept of life beyond logic, being more willing to understand the things that we can't see with our human eyes. Some of you may be drawn more to metaphysical higher consciousness concepts and research. Others of you, of course, will take a more traditional intellectual scientific approach. Music or looking back at historical events or research in mythology, myths from various cultures can also trigger some kind of consciousness expansion in some of you. If you just be, you know, reading cold or reading a science book and you, you get some kind of insight there. Others of you, it would just be a feeling that comes from within and just whether this be taking some time out to meditate or something like that. And even if you don't act on any information that's given to you right now, in the long run, some of you may see this day of the 5th of August as being very important. Others of you, like I said, can get sudden insight into complex knowledge, leaving you with a deeper understanding and inner knowing, which can change your belief systems forever. Others of you may watch a film or informative online video, listen to a podcast or for conversation with someone alone or in a group kind of setting and this person is able to take vast, profound, hard to understand information and present it in such a way to you, simple way, that broadens your perception and changes, just changes you. So yeah, that's the daily scope, scope, scopes for the 5th of August. Thanks for listening and take care.